In this video, I will let you know how to make your own Node MCU based development kit using which you can monitor up to 4 analog or digital sensors, control up to 4 AC appliances. Not only that, this kit has also a built in temperature and humidity sensor and one buzzer for alert purposes. So this is all we're gonna make in this video by using the Blink IoT platform. So let's get started. So for making this project, you'll require these all components and I have attached the link of each and every component in the description of this video. Now here I have used the 16 channel multiplexer module just to increase the number of analog pins for this Node MCU board. As Node MCU has only one analog pin, so this kind of model becomes mandatory in case we need to, uh, you know, interface more than one sensor. So now to make this project, you need to connect all the components in this manner. Now to make this project more compact and sturdy, I designed my own custom PCB for it and gave its order to GLCPCB. Now if you want to order the same PCBs, you can just download the Gerber file of this project by going onto my EasyEDA account, then upload that Gerber file to glcpcb.com, select the color masking if you want and place the order. If you select the fastest delivery option, you may get the PCBs delivered at your doorstep within a week. So try out GLCPCB to make your projects look neat and more sturdy. Now as always, if you want the exact same PCB which I am using right now, then you can get that PCB for free by ordering a TechSMS merchandise. Just head on to techasms.com slash merchandise to order your own. Now after receiving the PCBs, I just shouldered all the components on it. And no, this is not it about the hardware, we do require some other components as well. So here for the demo purpose, I'm using this 4 sensor which includes the MQ135 gas sensor, one proximity sensor, one light sensor and one motion sensor. And now talking about the output, I'm using this 4 bulbs. So yeah, this is all about the hardware. Now let's just move on to the application side. So here in the Blink application, you first need to create the new project. Give it a name. In my case, I will give it a name as Node MCU Development Kit. Uh, select the board as Node MCU. Then connection type is Wi-Fi. Click OK. Now here, just tap on the screen to add the buttons. So I'll quickly add four buttons for four relays. And as our project got six sensors, yes, six. Four you can attach externally, and two are built in, which is temperature and humidity. So for six sensors, I will select six gauge for that. Okay, so this is all widgets will require for the project. Now let's just configure these widgets. For the buttons, it's pretty simple. It's already discussed in the previous video. You just need to tap on the button, give it a name, maybe a relay one. Uh, click on the pin, select digital, and the relay one is attached to digital pin six, and uh, make the type as switch. That's it. Now this is how you can configure all the four relays with this pin configurations. Now let us move on to sensor part, just tap on the gauge, give it a name, let's take the example as temperature, Click, select on the pin, now here we have to select virtual pin, now virtual pin is nothing but the variable which we are using in the code, uh, let's take an example, if we select virtual pin V0 here, what we can do in the code is, we'll just assign the temperature value to the virtual pin V0, hence that temperature data will be displayed into this gauge. Okay, but that's a simple explanation about the virtual pin, but you'll get a more clear idea after making this project. So let's just select the virtual pin V0 here. Now give it a range as uh, 0 to 100. I am thinking it is okay for the temperature in India. And uh, here you can also select the color of the gauge. That's it. Click on the OK button. And likewise, I will configure all the widgets with the different different sensors. For example, I will select the virtual pin V1 for humidity, whose range goes from 0 to 100. For proximity, I will select the virtual pin V2 whose range is from 0 to 1 as it is a digital sensor. So 0 and 1 is okay for me. And then for the gas, I will select the virtual pin V3 and its range starts from 200 up to 700. And for the motion, I will select the virtual pin V4 whose range again starts from 0 to 1. It is also a digital sensor. And then the last is the light sensor whose virtual pin is V5 and whose range goes from 0 to 100. Okay, so this is how you have to configure the dashboard of your Blink application. So that's it about the application. Now let's just move on to the last part of this project and that's the coding. So this is the code for this project. Now first of all you need to have all this library installed on your system. Now if you watched my first episode you must be knowing that how to install the Blink library. And for using the temperature and humidity sensor we also need to you know install this THT library. And if you don't have the library the link is attached in the description so you can just download that library. Okay. And moving ahead, we have defined the relay pins here, the sensor pins here, and the multiplexer pins here. So you no need to change anything in this code. 
going ahead here we need to provide the authentication token which will be sent to your email id so this is this is how you receive an email so you just need to copy this token and paste it here okay then you need to provide the SID name and password of your router to make this project talk to internet. So here's the function called send sensor, which we'll discuss uh, later. First of all, let us see the setup parts. And the voice setup, I just begin the necessary part. And after that, here as you can see, there's a function called timer dot set interval. And inside that, I have written thousand L and then send sensor. Now this function is useful for sending the data to the server. Now what this function will do, this function will simply call the send sensor function after every thousand milliseconds. Now let's see what's inside the send sensor function. If you go inside the function, as you can see, first of all, I'm reading the temperature and humidity value from the sensor by this function. Okay. After that, I'm just assigning each sensor's value to the dedicated virtual pins. For example, I'm just assigning temperature value to virtual pin V0 humidity value to the v1 and likewise light value to the v5 you can change this order in way you want you can just uh, write down here v6 and light then the light sensor will be uh, you know transferred to the v6 virtual pin nothing crazy okay so this is what is happening inside the send sensor function and which will be called after every one second okay now let us see what's there inside the loop now as you know there is only one analog pin in the node mcu board and here i'm reading out four uh, analog readings from the sensors so how is this happening now this is all possible with the help of the multiplexer model which i discussed earlier how this multiplexer model works so in this multiplexer module we first need to assign one particular address and then the device will read the data coming from that address then it will switch to another address and take the data then another address and take the data this is how I have put four addresses with the help of two digital pins of node MCU. For example, if the address is 00, that is S0 is low and S1 is low, it will read the gas sensor value. Similarly, if the address is 10, it will read the data from the motion sensor. Similarly, if the address is 01, it will read the proximity sensor. And if the address is 11, it will read the data coming from the light sensor. So this is how the multiplexer model works. And if I use the four address pins of multiplexer model, then I can connect up to 16 different analog sensors with it. But there was no need for 16 in this particular demo project. But if you want, you can use it. Okay. So this is all done in the void loop section. And after that, just blink dot run and timer dot run. These are mandatory functions to make this project work. So this is all about the coding. I hope you got the idea about how all thing is working. And yes, there is also one thing which I forgot to mention, which is the buzzer. Now here in this project, we also have the buzzer as well, which we can use according to our need. For example, in this project, I have used the buzzer to make me alert about the proximity sensor. If there is someone in front of the proximity sensor, the buzzer will start buzzing. And if there is no one uh, in front of proximity sensor, the buzzer will stop buzzing. So you can use the buzzer for alert purposes. Maybe you can use the buzzer if the CO2 concentration in your room exceeds to particular limit. This is one of the many examples in which you can use the buzzer. Okay. So here is the uh, use of the buzzer and that is about the programming. Now I will just upload this into the node MCU board and let us see this project in action. So I already connected all the sensors and the bulb on the development kit. Now on the application, I will just click on this play button. Now let us first test out the release. So yeah. So yes, the relays are perfectly working with the application. Now let us move on to the sensor and see what it does. So yeah, all the sensors are also perfectly responding and you must have noticed that the proximity sensor is also attached to the buzzer. So whenever I put my hand or finger near the sensor, the buzzer starts buzzing. So yeah, everything is perfectly working according to our code. So yes, this was all about the super duper interesting, easy to make yet useful project using the Blink application. And do I mention there is a giveaway in this video? Yes, there is a giveaway in this video in which I'll be giving away this complete project which includes the PCB, the components, the sensors, the node MCU board and uh, the adapter and everything which you see inside the project except the bulbs and everything. I'll be giving away to one of my subscriber or one of my viewers. Yes, the giveaway will be activated after 700 likes and to participate in the giveaway, you just need to like the video, you must be my subscriber and you just need to comment down your feedback 
regarding tech sms regarding this project regarding this channel or regarding anything related to tech sms just comment down your feedback like this video and you should be my subscriber and you are in the giveaway as soon as the number of likes crosses 700 i will announce the winner randomly on my instagram account so make sure you follow me on instagram as well so yeah ending this video here now just wait for my next video and then explore learn share with me tech sms